Darn, I just got in from uh, cleaning my uh, compost toilet and uh, I'm, I'm here to show you how to save lots of money off of your toilet paper bill. And uh, anyway, oh, oh crap. Uh, can you believe that? Can't believe that happened. Good thing I've got toilet paper in my hand. Get that off of there. Shoot, it's getting all stuck in the hair there and stuff. Kind of to get off. I was lucky to have toilet paper so I could get all of that off. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Sorry about that. That's embarrassing. Anyway, how am I going to save you this? Well, many of you will recognize this. This is a disposable enema. Now, it's not just a disposable enema anymore. This is when it gets reincarnated or re-implasticized or whatever you want to call it. Its next life and most useful life is a bidet. This is a poor man's bidet. And how does that become a poor man's bidet? How do you get to use it? So what you do is you go out and you buy them. And they usually come in bottles in packages of two and they're, I don't know, I think they average about $1.25 or something like that a piece. And if you're a politician and you need a lot of flushing, uh, you can get packages of six. And uh, that's a cheap swipe, politicians. We need to support our leaders and help them in, in uh, protecting us and protecting each other during this time. What am I doing? I still got this on. Let me take this off. I'm, I'm so. Here we go. How does how do you do it? So step one, you go out and buy one. Like I said, you buy one or two, get them, and uh, or six. And after you're done, after you get it, take it home, take off the cap, and you know what? Read the instructions. Read the instructions. After you've gotten through using it, then what you'll do is you'll sterilize it. So you take off, the, you got the soap and water, alcohol, whatever you want. If you want to put some stuff inside of it and swish it around and squirt it out, to wash it out, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And then step number four is, unbeknownst to many of us that have used these before, there's a little membrane inside of the cap here. And so what you do is you go in there, take out that little membrane, and that kind of restricts the flow and makes it so it's only used, it doesn't spill. But we want it to be wide open so you can get maximum flushing on it. So once you've taken that out, then you go fill it up with water. And then you can use it. Uh, and how does that cut down on toilet paper? Well, let's just do it here. What a guy, it was kind of fortuitous that I had that on me kind of, it's kind of smelly, but now once you put a little water on there and then you wipe it off, it looked like it was all gone. But with that water, you can still see that there was something left on there. So it's not only going to save you toilet paper, because if you do that before you wipe, it's going to actually get, actively get you cleaner. This is your solution to all your toilet paper dilemmas. You can save on toilet paper with nature's uh, number one solvent, water. Anyway, this is Don L, and I'm with the Three Dream Question Project, or Our Dream Place, and I hope something I said today will be helpful to you. Thank you.